Hello, my name is James Parker and welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. I'm a sculptor based here in Scotland and in this post I'm going to take this old wooden log and turn it into a beautiful bronze stock for my latest apple sculpture. And here's a recap on how the apple was made. Here I've got a, just, it's just basically a log. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of wood, we'll screw it down that I've got somewhere to work. We'll, we'll whittle it down until I've got something resembling a stock. I've got this as smooth as I can with 120 grit sandpaper now, which has moved all the all the machine marks. I think it fits really nicely. Uh, the bend adds quite a lot of character. Now I've finished the stock for the apple. So what I've done is I've screwed it down to this wooden board. And that'll mean that the foundry can get a really sharp finish when they're applying the casting material. I've now dropped off the wooden original to Powder Hall Bronze Foundry in Edinburgh. Bronze casting is a lengthy and complicated process. I'm going to give you a brief insight into that process. Firstly, liquid rubber is painted onto the wooden original. In this case, the rubber is pink. The rubber takes on every tiny detail even the fingerprints of the sculptor may be captured. But the rubber alone is not firm enough to keep its shape. So a plaster of Paris backing is applied to the rubber. Together the rubber and the backing form what's known as the mother mould. A wax positive is then made using the mother mould. This is done by applying many layers of wax to the rubber. This can be seen here in another project I'm working on. The wax is applied to the desired thickness of the final bronze. After removal of the mother mould, the resulting wax shell is filled with a heat resistant mixture known as investment. Next, wax tubes are added. These tubes provide access for pouring bronze and vents for the poisonous gases. Metal pins are hammered through the wax model and into the investment core. Next, the wax shell is completely covered in heat resistant material. These structures are known as investment moulds. The investment moulds are inverted and placed in a kiln at 600 degrees Celsius. During heating the investment material hardens and the wax runs out through the ducts which were created by the wax tubes. Those are the same tubes that will be used to pour in the bronze. Once removed from the kiln, the investment mould is returned to an upright position and you can now see the vents and ducts at the top of the moulds. They are placed in a pit and packed with sand. A crucible which will be used to carry the molten bronze is heated until it is red hot.
molten bronze at a temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius is poured into the crucible. Any dross floating in the liquid bronze is removed at this stage. The bronze is poured into the investment mould through the ducts created earlier by the wax tubes. The noxious gases escape through the vents. This process is repeated until the investment moulds are full. Two crucibles are being used here so that each pour can be completed without the bronze cooling between pours. When the hot bronze has cooled down, it's time to knock out the moulds. These are two pear stalks the foundry are also making for me. Here you can see the vents and ducts attached to the stock. Anything which was formed in wax is now present in bronze. Here some of the vents and ducts are being removed with an angle grinder. These are two apple stalks which were created using the mother mould at the beginning of the process. Any remaining investment material is then removed from the bronze stalk using a very high pressure jet wash. The remaining ducts are then carefully removed again using an angle grinder. As you can see, some additional work is required to remove the last of the excess material. A great deal of time and skilled craftsmanship is required to get the stock back to precisely the same form as the wooden original. A cap is made for the base of the stock. Care is taken to ensure the plates and threaded fixing point are square and allow the stock to be fitted precisely to the slate apple. A combination of chemicals and the application of heat are used to apply colour, known as patination to the bronze stock. As with all stages of the lost wax casting process, a great deal of skill is needed to achieve the desired finish. It's now time to head back to the workshop to fit this bronze stock to the apple. I'd like to say a massive thanks to everyone at Powder Hall Bronze Foundry for all their help and I look forward to seeing you again soon.